Engineer man here. Time for some basic threading using C. No time to waste. Let's jump in. Here's our outline. We're going to do what is threading and how to implement basic threading in C. So what is threading? It's a separate set of code execution that runs alongside your main thread. So if we jump over here to the code, we will see that in your main function, that's going to be also your main thread. So let's go ahead and implement some threads. So I have a template C program right here, very simple. I'm going to add something very important here. It is pthread.h. And that is the header file in C that gives you access to the pthread functions. Next, what we'll need to do is do a pthread t and give it a name. I will make a thread. And then we will do pthread create. pthread create takes four arguments. The first thing it takes is a reference to your thread struct. So I will do ampersand thread. The next argument is the pthread attributes, of which I do not have any, so we'll do a null. The next is going to be a function that will be the, int uh, the en entry point for the new thread. So before I put a name here, I need to go ahead and create that new function. So this is going to be a function that will return a void pointer always. We'll call it entry point. And then for the argument, it's also going to be a void pointer, which I'll call value. Inside here, all we'll do is we'll do a printf and we'll say hello from the second thread. We'll put a smiley face just for fun. You could just return null, that's fine for a void pointer. So now that we have this name, we can copy that into here. The next thing we'll need to do is this is for the value you want to send your function. So if you didn't want to send anything, you could just put null. We're actually going to send something. So we'll create a variable here. We'll just call it, we'll say a number. So we'll do int num and we'll do one, two, three. What we'll need to do is send a reference to that. Give that a reference, which will go to entry point. And if we jump up here, we'll do that later. So the last thing we need to do is a pthread join. And with the p and you'll pass it the value of the struct and then null. What pthread join does is it ensures that your main thread will wait until your second thread finishes. If you did not have pthread join, what would happen is you would execute the program and it would immediately exit. So in this case, what it does is it jumps into entry point, it executes everything, and then as soon as it returns, pthread join actually returns as well, and then the program exits. So we'll put a little print here as well, just to say hello from the first thread. And I'll do like a D. Colon D. So we'll run this just like this, just to try it out. So we'll do GCC, do basic threading. GCC basic threading, and then we'll pass it the C file, and you need to do a dash L P thread. You need to link the P thread library with that. And we will, oops, that's dash O. Messed it up again. Okay, we'll run basic threading. You can see it says hello from the first thread. Hello with an extra W. So we'll fix that, put some new lines just so we can see it better. Okay, great. We will recompile. And there it is. Hello from the first thread, hello from the second thread. Wonderful. Now, let's print out the value from num. So we're sending it up here. First thing we have to do is create an integer pointer because we need to take that void pointer, cast it to an integer pointer, and give it value. And that's all we need to do. So we'll do a printf, we'll say the value of value is, and then we will dereference num. Perfect. We'll recompile here run it again, and you'll see it says the value of value is 123, exactly as we wanted. And that's it. Hopefully everybody learns a little bit. If I forgot to cover something, or you'd like to learn more, or you'd like to request a tutorial, post a comment below. And if you enjoyed this video, hit that like and subscribe button so you don't miss new videos. See you next time.